So, whenever, whenever you have a sequence that has alternating positive to negative values, please make sure you guys write this down. All right? Because whenever we're going to have alternating values, this is what we're going to have to apply in addition to our rule. So, the alternating sequence or term that we're going to use is simply negative 1 raised to the nth power. Okay, you can it. there's a rule, but that's mostly what we're going to be using is the negative 1 raised to the nth. And let's see, why does that work? Well, negative 1, any negative number raised to an odd power is always going to be one over negative. Any negative number always raised to an even power is always going to be positive. positive. Okay? Now, if you guys notice, all this does is alternate between negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1. Right? So it's not actually affecting the value um, or the absolute value of your, of your sequence terms. It's just alternating the signs. All right? So to kind of get an idea of this, what we'll do, Brian, is let's go ahead and try a sequence on our own. What I'd like you guys to do is determine the first five terms, and I'll actually help you guys with this. Let's determine the first five terms of this sequence, because that's one thing you're going to have to do in your homework. Okay, so again, what we're simply going to do is the first five terms, so therefore a sub 1 equals negative 1 raised to the first power, and, and to the first, oh, I'm sorry, 1 squared minus 2, right? Well, negative 1 to the first power is just negative 1. 1 squared is 1. one Pardon this one. interruption. Reginald Coleman, please report to the main office. Reginald Coleman, please report to the main office. It's a call call. And then you go to 2. Negative 1 squared over 2 squared minus 2. Negative 1 squared is now positive 1. 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Anybody have a cube yet? Or a to the third? A sub 3? Huh? No, is it done? I'll do that. Negative 1 over 7. Negative 1 over 7? see what I'm doing? I'm just plugging in the number of the sequence. Does everybody understand? See what I'm doing? Anybody have A, a subscript 4? Anybody have that one yet? And A subscript 5? So what's very important about this is that I want you guys to understand is you have alternating. It goes from positive, which one's positive? This, that's negative. Negative. Oh wait, that's positive. That doesn't, that doesn't, well, that alternates our sign from the one. But we go from positive to negative to positive to negative, and then it's going to continue, keep on going in that fashion. Does everybody see that? See how the alternating works that? Well, it, well, obviously it doesn't work on the, on the first one. That's just how it plugs it in. But from there on, it makes them in the, uh, to the neighbors. Do you guys see how you create that negative or the alternating signs? Mm 